हॅलो एव्हरी वन इट्स प्रतीक्षा फ्रॉम गार्डन वाईज कपल ऑफ वीक्स ॲगो आय शेअर्ड अ व्हिडिओ ऑन टाईप्स ऑफ पॉट्स अँड टिप्स फॉर सिलेक्टिंग राईट पॉट्स अँड आय रिसिव्ह मेनी डीएम्स अँड कमेंट्स स्पेसिफिकली अबाउट सेल्फ वॉटरिंग कंटेनर्स हाऊ इट वर्क इट्स ॲडव्हान्टेजेस अँड विच आर द प्लॅन्स दॅट वी कॅन ग्रो सो टुडेज व्हिडिओ इज ऑल अबाउट सेल्फ वॉटरिंग पॉट्स सेल्फ वॉटरिंग कंटेनर्स आर मस्ट टू हॅव इफ यू ट्रॅव्हल अ लॉट और इफ यू डोंट हॅव मच टाईम टू वॉटर युअर प्लॅन्ट्स ऑल्सो इफ यू आर ग्रोइंग प्लॅन्ट्स दॅट डोंट लाईक टू ड्राय आउट और इफ द प्लॅन्ट्स डोंट लाईक गेटिंग देअर लिव्स वेट सो इन टुडेज व्हिडिओ आय विल बी शेअरिंग वॉट इज सेल्फ वॉटरिंग पॉट कॉमन पार्ट्स ऑफ सेल्फ वॉटरिंग पॉट हाऊ इट वर्क इट्स ॲडवांटेजेस विच आर द प्लॅन्ट्स दॅट वी कॅन ग्रो अँड हाऊ टू ग्रो अँड आफ्टर केअर First, let's understand what is self-watering pot. Self-watering pot don't water itself, but it does provide a consistent source of moisture to the plant growing in it and allows you to water less frequently. Now, we'll quickly see common parts of self-watering pots. So, this is the common design of self-watering pot that we can easily get in market. Uh, so, the first or top section of uh, self-watering pot is for potting mix and for your plant and bottom part is uh, for water uh, which commonly called as water reservoir reservoir varies in size often in proportion to the overall size of the container a fill tube or opening some kind is used to pour water directly into the reservoir now there are various sizes and shapes are available in self watering pots so i will put some links in the description box to purchase self watering container work through capillary action or wicking it moves water from reservoir into the planter above have you ever dipped one end of paper towel into the water you would have seen capillary action as slowly water creeps across the entire towel this is nothing but capillary action self watering containers work on reservoir system there is a water storage tank usually at the bottom of the container which we have to fill there is an overflow hole so excess water simply drains away the soil soaks up the water from the bottom so as long as you keep the reservoir filled your plants get a consistent level of moisture delivered directly to their roots there is also less chance of fungus and disease because you keep water off your plants leaves by feeding them directly to their roots self watering planter is designed with a section that sits inside the water reservoir placing potting mix directly in contact with the water water from the wet mix in that section is pulled up into the rest of the planting container through capillary action this is how it works now i will share with you what are the advantages of self watering pots i like self watering pots because they provide consistent level of moisture and which is very important especially for indoor plants or else plant will show yellowing of leaves or sometime drying of leaf tips second advantage more efficient use of water because water is an enclosed in water reservoir it doesn't evaporate directly into the air instead it goes directly to the plant's root in contrast when you spray your plants or even when you use a watering can a lot of that water goes on the ground or the plant's leaves where it evaporates without benefit the plant and probably the most common mistake we make is to overwater plants with a well designed self watering container the plants will get just the amount of water they need to thrive house plant that prefers evenly moist soil includes money plants spider plants syngonium african violet ferns these kind of plants you can easily grow in self watering containers but self watering pots are not suitable for all kind of plants like cactus succulents snake plants or orchids plants those don't require frequent watering or moisture so avoid these kind of plants for self watering pots now i will quickly show how to set up self watering container and how to grow plants in them first insert the parts into the container first water reservoir and then plant container second for a self watering pot to function properly it's essential that you use the right kind of potting soil 
you can make your own potting mix by mixing uh, about 60% of coco peat and remaining garden soil and perlite for good air circulation and drainage if you use dry potting mix it will not work next plant your favorite plants in the container don't compact the potting mix but do firm in the plants so they are well supported water from the top to remove air pockets and settle the roots add additional potting mix if needed this is typically the only time you will water from above after this just fill the reservoir directly wait a while for the water to percolate down through the potting mix into the reservoir then fill the reservoir refill the reservoir as necessary when the water level is low do not let it dry out if it does water from above to ensure that all the potting mix is thoroughly moistened before filling the reservoir again there are various sizes and types shapes available in self watering pot right now i have two types of uh, containers so uh, this is the uh, water reservoir and this is the uh, container where we grow plants and put potting mix this is the uh, fill tube from here you can add water directly to the water reservoir and in second type of pot this is the container where we can uh, grow the plant and from here we can add the water i think they look elegant simple sober and most important they are not so costly this is for 80 rupees and this is also for 80 or 90 rupees you will get many colors in it and uh, size also so they are good option if you are travel a lot and don't have much time about its care it doesn't require much maintenance but some fast growing plants like money plant or uh, spider plants they grow exceptionally well in self watering plant so sometimes roots tend to grow down into the reservoir and can fill it so in such case remove the planter and clean out the reservoir so check the reservoir regularly to avoid clogging so friends that's all about self watering pots hope you find this video helpful thanks for watching see you in the next video till then happy gardening